Hello everybody and welcome back to another freaking Gary's Mod video. Today we are playing Stormy Sea. I saw this on the Steam Workshop and I was like, hey, I know this map. I've seen the first one. As a matter of fact, I've played the first one. And it's one of the most popular videos on my channel. So I thought, hey, people are probably going to ask me to play this. Oh, look at that lighting. That's really cool. I know that's random, but that's cool. I'm getting distracted, but I was like... Yeah, people are going to probably ask me to play this, so I said, I'm going to play this because people are probably going to ask me, even though I'm terrified, and I have a huge fear of water. I feel like that's a normal fear for people, you know. It's not necessarily being in water. I'm not scared of showers or anything like that, even though I am a gamer. I'm not I'm not scared of showers. Um, that's more of, like, the Smash Bros. community, but anyways. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's that's just that's just a lie. But uh, I'm scared of not being able to see, you know, anything. Like I'm, I'm not necessarily scared of the dark. It is a little spooky in real life, but I'm not really scared of it. I think it's a normal fear to be afraid of the dark, though, and the water. But what's I guess what scares me the most about oceans. You know, because I can swim in a pool just fine, you know. Ever since I could touch the floor, I wasn't really scared of a pool. And, uh, yeah, but not being able to see below your feet is just a weird fear for me, even though I've never been out to the ocean. And the fact that there's stuff in the ocean that can kill me, I don't like that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Although I love sharks, I think they're actually really cool and... I feel like people are a little too mean towards sharks, but I would not, you know, I, I can respect them from a distance, you know what I mean? I'm not going to be going in there swimming with sharks. That's scary. But, uh, yeah, I, I just get, like, panicked when I cannot see past a certain point, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, and also, uh, spooky, you know? This is kind of cool. This is very different from version 1. I have played version 1, if I didn't say that already. And it got very popular on the channel. I probably did say that. Um, I feel like I'm actually just stalling by doing a really long intro. I'm really sorry. I really like this map already. This is cool. It's very different from the uh, original. Original. I like the lighting here. It's just kind of cool though. I know, I know that's random, but that just looks like, uh, it just looks cool. But, let me grab this thing. Beep, 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 beep. But yeah, the first one, I just straight up panicked when I went into the water. And we're going to have to be doing that in this one. I, I loved the first one though a lot, you know. I loved Abyssal Plain a lot as well. That was actually one of my favorite Gary's mod, mod maps of all time. Just because of how uh, well made this map was. You know, the map was. And Stormy Sea is another map. You know, they both take on in water. That's why I'm mentioning it. I just put that in my inventory. Do I have an inventory I don't know about? Or did it go in here? There it is. This is what fire hydrants are made for. In the water. Bro, it just sinks. I'm so scared to go in there, man. I'm gonna explore the ship a little bit. There's a radio here. We're not gonna click it because it might have copyrighted music. We got my beautiful family. There's my husband and my wife. And my child. <laughs> That's a weird family. But, uh, yeah. This is kind of cool. I like it. It's very detailed. I like how there's like a little bit of a mess near here. This guy does not clean up after himself, but to be honest, if you're out to sea, a lot of stuff is probably going to be spilling while you're cooking. You know? But this feels a lot more cozy. I like it. But I'm afraid to see what's underwater. Let's check down here. Oh, we got the engine room. I don't think we can really interact with any of this, though. That's okay, though. The last map, I thought we could move the boat, but... Um, you cannot. 
Let me check this out. This is a janked up bathroom. Oh my gosh. Actually just disgusting. Why is it this bad? Huh. Must have must be a storage room too or something. <laughs> and then there's some sleeping bunkers, so like four people can stay here. This would be a very cramped ship, but it's a lot bit better than the last one. I should have made Chris play this map, actually. Does this one have the secret Easter eggs? I remember there being an Easter egg in the uh, last map. There's a secret painting. Hey, hey. What did that do? Oh, shit. I'm scared now. Like, what if that was like a creepy activation button that does creepy stuff? Oh, God. I'm scared now, guys. The boat just starts sinking. Oh, I just shit my pants if it just started sinking. I'd be currently pissing. Oh, I'm, just, I, I'm really just stalling, man. I'm stalling. I really don't want to go. <laughs> I guess we're going down now. I guess we're. I guess we're going down. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just slowly descending, and I'm just pissing all over myself. I'm not really. Oh my gosh, that was scary. I did not mean to fall in, but I knew it had to happen, so... I'm not just... I really just thought about no clipping back up, but here we are. We're on the bottom of the ocean floor, y'all. This, this is just straight up making me panic, dude. This is scary as hell. Maybe this is better off if I don't play it with Chris, because this is scarier. Is there a way to get back on? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, it gives me so much anxiety. It's so weird, because I know nothing is going to happen to me in real life. But... Oh, it, just, it makes me feel, like... Uncomfortable. I think, oh, <laughs> just getting out, I still feel panicked, like, oh my gosh, that just happened to me, and I'm alive. I feel just a sense of relief coming back up onto this beautiful ship. <laughs> really did not mean to uh, fall off. Can we steer this? Can we go home now? Hello, I'd like to go home. I fell in the water. It was cold. I just slowly descended and panicked the whole time. I'm so sorry. We're eight minutes in and I'm not even exploring yet. I'm so sorry. We gotta do this. This is this is a cool skybox. Okay. Should we just walk on the bottom of the ocean floor? What the hell are those? Oh, that's my... For some reason, there's a weird glitch with my, um, my leg mod that I have. And it, it does that weird wavy f effect... I think it might be something with my model as well. Oh, there. There's a little hill right here. What's this all about? Is something just freaking swam at my face? Oh my gosh, from the darkness. Hello! I'm moving slightly. That's actually really cool. I think the water has an effect. I What if I just saw something swimming above me too? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm overthinking it. I'm gonna take a deep breath. Oh no, I don't want to swim up. I feel better d down here. What did that button do? Okay, there's rocks here. Man. I'm... I'm... I'm going to make myself as small as possible. <laughs> Maybe whatever it is out there won't kill me. What the fuck was that? I have my volume down really low. Just n not because I'm scared. I mean a little bit, to be honest with you. But uh, a bunch of other reasons. Also, it kind of bugs me how the rain is kind of falling into the ocean. 
we'll, we'll just say that the rainwater has a different effect than... What the fuck was I moving fast? <laughs> we'll just say the rain has a... Somehow goes in the ocean and we're investigating this. I'm actually just crouching because I'm that scared. I need to stop being a bitch. I'm just crouching right now. Let's, let's not... Alright. This is nice. Uh, that was, uh... Unexpected, but also kind of expected. Like I was, want, I was thinking like I know there's gonna be like a border to stop, but I wasn't sure when. I didn't think it'd be that soon. Holy mother of Lord! Oh Jesus! That scared me. Um, I, I actually just paused for like a minute and just sat here. <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding. That's how scared I got. I'm just going in a straight line from these rocks here, because it's kind of a decent landmark. Hello, more rocks. You scared me. Ha ha ha. I love rocks. Should we use a lantern? Does this help? It doesn't help at all. You guys remember Jack and Daxter? I probably talked about this. There's no doubt I did talk about this last... Uh, map but if you go out into the water and Jack and Daxter this is how my fear started the freaking giant piranha shows up and eats you and swallows you whole I'm swimming up by the way I'm holding I'm holding my lantern to make myself seem as a threat we have an underwater lantern don't question it this is worse this is so worse what the hell is that thing no I'm just kidding I, I, I am a predator, stay away. I have the light. Why am I swimming above water though? I just have my hand over my mouth. did it's been 13 minutes and I'm hardly exploring I need to I need to hype myself up okay and you know what I legit feel safer with this is this is probably why I was using this thing in an abyssal plane I'm going down there I'm gonna explore this map like oh hey remember those I'm gonna explore this map I'm gonna stop being a little bitch hello <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna be a bitch, I swear. I have a whip on. There's more to this. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm I'm really Oh my gosh, I could just feel my Get back. This is the only way I feel safe exploring this shit. I'm I'm sorry. There's gonna be more to this. I need to I need to explore this map. That's my goal. That's the point of these videos. You know what I mean? We can't just not do that. This is what people want. Okay. I remember the comments in the first one scaring me more than anything because they'd say things like "Don't get out of the go, don't get out of your boat," or they'd say things like "Oh, there's stuff underwater." There was no comments on this one. I don't know why, but 
kind of made me feel a little bit better because I couldn't read things that just gaslit lies and scared me. Okay. So we are running into these things a lot. Well, the thing is, is that the only threat that's down here? I don't know. There's something here. Rocks. Are these the same damn rocks I've been running to for the past 50 years? I saw a picture of a boat. I'm not finding... Oh, hey, look at this. This is a thing. Oh, I feel nice and cozy in here. Hey, look, look at that. What the fuck? That doesn't make sense. Why is Dr. Kleiner here? Hello? <laughs> what the fuck is... What is he doing, though? <laughs> hey, buddy. Why is he here? Why are you here? <laughs> the fuck? Fuck to Kleiner. Be my little test subject. I'm gonna kill you. Ah. Lovely. This is so cool. This is what I saw. Oh my gosh, this is cool as hell. I'm taking a picture of this. That's so damn cool to me. That's actually just really cool. I love this map, actually. But I'm scared. As well. I'm gonna swim up, it looks like. You know what I'm really scared of? Is that one... There's this cutscene in Half-Life 2 of this giant, like fish thingy near the beginning when you're getting teleported all over the place in the world and he just freaking flies at your face that's what I'm scared of like they could just implement that fucking thing in here you know what I mean and I would I would be there's another button huh makes you think what is going on around here why is there random buttons? I couldn't tell you, my man. Why the hell are buttons everywhere? It's kind of comforting talking to yourself. You know? This is... This is a good thing. That brother's gone. He fell into the back rooms. What if it took me to the back rooms? I would be pissing right now. I'm gonna stop talking about that. I don't like going towards these skyboxes at all. Well, I can see the little lines there. I'm not going further. Ah, uh, I got to. Even if it kills me. Even if it kills me, my man. Haha! <laughs> Get, get back. I am a threat. You know what would be scary is if you saw like a figure of somebody just standing in the distance looking at you. Watching you, you know. Especially if it was a man in a suit. With a suitcase like G-Man just watching you. Walk across the ocean floor, and there's just no way he would be down here. He doesn't have an oxygen tank. He's just wearing a suit, watching you. He starts walking towards you, like like there's just no issue for him to walk underwater while he walks on the ocean floor. And then he starts running at you full speed. You just hear his feet running, dirt around him, hitting tossed everywhere as he's running all over. It's becoming muddy. 
You can't see him anymore. He starts running circles around you. You're blind now. Because the dirt got kicked up from under his feet from him running. And then all of a sudden he 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 because he gets in front of you. And then he and then he shakes your hand. The end. Hope you guys like my horror story. No, but really though, seeing something like just like a figure of someone standing underwater would be really scary. Especially if they were just dressed casual, like without an oxygen suit, that would be scary. Or just a silhouette of someone. Did I explore everything? Like, I'm afraid I didn't. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna no clip now, though. Okay, so we can see everything here. What's that? Is that the credits of the map? Great tour. Oh, here it is. Special thanks. Here's a special thanks to everybody. I think we've explored mostly everything. I am scared, but I think we did explore everything. Are these portal textures? I don't have portal installed. Most importantly, thank you for playing, young man. Oh, is that Dr. Kleiner's dead body? But yeah, we see everywhere we've been. Those are the rocks. There's the ship. That was such a cool map. Goodbye. No, I'm just kidding. There's a lot of these buttons around. Can't click them twice. But I wonder if there's any more on the ship. There might. This might activate some kind of Easter egg of some sort, and I really don't want to miss the Easter egg or anything like that. But might. If I do, that's why I, I recommend all of you check this map out for yourself. I know it took me a long time to get in the water. I wasn't trying to stall or anything. I I, I was really oh I was trying to stall because I was scared. <laughs> Who am I kidding man? Who the hell am I? I ain't fooling nobody. But my shelf. I think that's it for this though. Um, if I miss some stuff. What? Oh, there must be an Easter egg in the boat itself that I missed. Let's look around on the boat. Let's see if we can find it. Because we, we found, uh. Oh, okay. We just got teleported somewhere, but I want to find out where that somewhere is. Yahoo! Oh, is this for getting all the buttons? Must be. Huh. And teleports you to the secret room. Is that just kind of to indicate that you've been at every location so you get to see the secret room now? So what does this button do? I, I don't know what this one does, but... I gotta say, this is a very good map, very well designed. Very spooky, very scary, very skeleton. And I genuinely really enjoyed this. What if we turn the fog off? I, I wanna mess with the fog, like I'm just curious. Yeah, the fog helps a lot this map. What if we turn the fog up? What if we make it more thick? And what did it look like before? It was like that. It was really thick. So we'll do this. 
We'll make it more darker. Maybe more darker? No. And then we'll make it even more. That's, that's not dark enough. And then, is it on? Ew, what did I just do to this poor map? <laughs> We'll make it red. It's bright. That's scary. What if we make it black? Oh, that's actually really scary. It should be... Oh, that's scary. That makes everything look really scary. I don't know why I'm just enjoying messing with the fog to this map. It's kind of cool. Because I think the fog really did add a lot of, like, creepiness to this. Definitely. 100%. What is... Oh, that's where he was. Okay, well, I think that's it for this one. I'm just kind of dragging out the outro, basically. Sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed, though. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for 780 subscribers. That's crazy to me. But uh, if you like the video, leave a like. But what's most important is that you go down in the description down below. And if you got a Steam account, go support the original map creator. Leave a nice comment. Go give a like. Give them a freaking Steam award if you can. And just do all the good things, you know. Because they worked on this map and I am simply playing it. But if you enjoyed what I had to say, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And Gary's Mod maps like this, let me know. And if you guys have any map recommendations, I'd love to hear them if I haven't played them already. I really like these water ones, even though I'm scared as hell of them. But I would love to play another water-related map. Um, this one was a lot more scary than the last one, if you ask me. So, yeah. I, I really like this. It's very different from the last one. Like, the last one had... Did it have a sunken ship? I don't think it did, not that I can remember. It was very different underwater as well. I think everything was kind of flat, wasn't it? I don't remember. It's been it's been a few months since I played Stormy Sea version 1. But uh, this one was really well made. Very good. Very spooky. And very scary. Uh, I do have a complaint, which is the fact that the rain goes underwater. But I get it, you know, it's... Gary's mod, how the hell are... I don't actually know how people do that. Stop the rain from going underwater. You know, that's a pretty common thing in source maps, you know, so I'm not really that upset about it. It added a lot to the atmosphere, you know, with the rain and then the fog kind of drifting over the water and then the fog itself where you couldn't see very far. That was the scariest part of the map. Because just not being able to see is really just scary to me and it made me pee is this related to uh, maybe portal like is this in the portal universe perhaps I don't know I'm just guessing that I mean the half-life and portal are in the same universe but this does feel like a portalish realm because of this and then I don't know kind of reminds me of the uh, what the hell is it called the boat, the portal boat, I can't remember the name right now, but I'm sure it'll like click for me after I end this, which I'm going to do now, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one, peace out, be safe, and goodbye, thank you guys for watching, the Borealis, that's what it's called, okay, bye, bye, goodbye.